Every team, every topic, everywhere, this is Believe. Yo, what's good, people? This is Trackstar, the DJ of Run the Jewels, and you're listening to the homies over at Zero Dark Nerdy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Zero Dark Nerdy, the world's most notorious pop culture podcast brought to you by the Believe Podcast Network, the number one podcast network for professionals. This is your host, Brian, a.k.a. El Nino, and today I'm joined with... This is Jordan Brown, a.k.a. Doodoo Brown, 3879, a.k.a. USDA, Fresh Prime Meat. (laughs) <laughs> and we have a special guest in the building, my daughter, the one and all, Jordan Hernandez. Say hello to the crowd out there. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so we are in the month of October. You know, uh, we just did the vampires episode last spooky week. Spooky season. Spooky season, spooky stuff. And today we are going to be talking about one of our favorite movie studios out there, production companies, A24, all things A24 on this episode. We're going to be talking about some of our favorite films favorite performances, and just kind of go from there. Not going to be a long episode, but we wanted to show some love to one of the most creative and probably innovative movie studios out for at least the last few years now. So whoever wants You're to right. kind of start it's it not, off. It's not going to be a long episode. As a matter of fact, it's going to be starting right now, 24 minutes long. <laughs> there you go. Jordan has to be at work at 6. So. I do. I have to be at work at 6, which is it's 527 right now. So we'll, we'll, we'll figure this out. So who has... Uh, I'll just I'll just go I'll just come out and say it. My favorite A twenty four movie thus far is uh, so I go back and forth between Hereditary. I know a lot of people didn't like it, mm-hmm. but Hereditary and A Ghost Story. Okay, A Ghost Story blew my mind with how subtle every performance was, how how slowly the story progressed, and also how each part of the story interacted with other parts of the story. Gotcha. Fucking love that, and that's with it, Casey Affleck, correct? Mm-hmm. That's like the right. only known actress in the. the Isn't thing. Rooney Mara in it? Uh, uh, probably. I didn't. Know <laughs> you know, Captain so. No No. Like, I think she's like the main. Yeah, Rooney Mara. Uh, she she is cast as it, it, she's cast as M. Mm. Mm-hmm. They um. There's M. Casey Affleck is C. Kesha shit is Spirit Girl, and Liz Frank is Linda. <laughs> Kesha, um, the artist? Guys, it, it, if they only have one name in, <laughs> in the credits, I assume they're I did not artist. know that. Yeah. Uh, so it's been a while since I've, it, since I've seen it. It's come out in 2017, which is when it was on Netflix for the first time. Right. And um, saw it then. Fucking loved it. Tried to tell a lot of my friends about it. You. I did. know. You didn't I know. watch it. I, I started to watch it before you told me about it. It was late night. It's, it's it, very, it, it is. It's very slow. It's very slow. Very slow. But it's so beautifully done. Yeah, I do. I do want to finish it. But yeah, I did start to watch it. This was years ago, mm-hmm. probably a couple of years ago. It only came out twenty seventeen. But I do want to finish it. Mm-hmm. So it, it was. It was. It's very good. It's completely different from the other shit that I've seen of A twenty four, as gotcha. in like completely soul crushing, nihilistic, almost. <laughs> um, are you ready to be depressed? Yeah, no shit. You got to be in a mood to watch an A24 movie. Oh, yeah. Especially my close first or second. I still haven't decided. I'm not going to decide on this episode. Okay. Because we only have 24 minutes. Um, <laughs> Hereditary is, from start to finish, one of the most horrifying movies I've seen. Uh, I went to go see it with my friend Jameson um, at the, in the theater. And we were, the, uh, we were two of the four people in the theater. And we watched the whole movie, scared fuckless. We got out. We didn't say one word during the whole movie. Right. Went out to the went out to my car afterwards and sat with my light on, and because only one because <laughs> only one of them works the hood lights. Mm-hmm. And we sat there for a good five minutes, and then we were like collecting your thoughts. Doing I that. need a fucking drink. <laughs> Let's leave. And no movie really does that anymore. Like to right. me. Like makes me actually feel scared because I don't feel scared in real life. I'm kidding, I do. I'm a pussy, but um, <laughs> yeah, I fucking love that movie so much. Yeah, no, I like. I mean, I, I I think I watched it with you, my daughter Jordan, for the first time, and she had already seen it, so she kind of prepared me for some of the scenes. I think one of the scariest scenes, which I wish you you didn't tell me then, but when she was like, "Look at the wall," and it was the mom crawling on the wall. 
And then, of with course, the sun in the, with the sun in the bed. Yeah, the sun in the bed. And then, uh, you know, as, as always, as you know, for our fans out there, there are going to be spoilers out there. So oh, if you spoilers. don't want to, you know, hear any spoilers on A24 films, you may want to turn it off. But, you know, you're right. One of the most terrifying scenes I think I've ever seen in horror history is where the mom is sawing or whatever it is with her own cord. with a piano yeah. cord her own head off that was uh that was some shit and i can't remember the actress's name but she was also in get okay. out i want to do a whole episode dedicated to tony collette's performance that's it tony hey, collette Terry. yeah because the oscars completely snubbed her of even a nomination well but but also tony collette got was it the same year that she did uh three billboards in that's that's francis yeah, that's, that's a different person. That's Francis mm-hmm. I am off and wrong. What's up? My name's Jordan. <laughs> Three Billboards is one of my favorite movies. Yeah, but, fantastic movie. Um, yeah, the Oscars doesn't ever really acknowledge horror, anyways. So Fair. it's like not surprising. But mm-hmm. I mean, oh my god! Like that performance is one of the most underrated performances ever. Fair. You Absolutely. should definitely watch it just just for her, if not mm-hmm. for anything else. That's also my favorite A24 movie. Yeah. I've seen it probably 10 times. I've seen it, yeah. Nice. Every single person that asks me what, <laughs> like, oh, you like horror movies? You like watching horror movies? Mm. What's your favorite horror movie? Oh, my favorite horror movie is, <laughs> is uh, uh, the, the three. From, Cabin in the Woods. The Three from Hell by uh, <laughs> Rob Zombie. <laughs> And I'm like, dude, stop doing that impersonation. <laughs> so those are your two favorites. So what are? Do you have any other uh, other favorites besides those two? Or are those your two like mm-hmm. top ones as far as like dialed in? Those are your two like. Oh, uh, I first. mean, Lighthouse was good. I didn't get it when I saw it. Yeah, the three of us went to go see that. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like uh, it was it was it was masterclass uh, filmography, but mm-hmm. I just didn't get it. I, like yeah. I, I I don't I didn't get the the subtle hands to. Um, yeah, Homer or whoever the fuck, like, right. with like uh, the, the Icarus flying too close to the sun with his eyes being pecked out at the end. I right. didn't get that reference, so I looked it up and I was like, I mean, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Midsummer was great, but it was... The wait is finally over. Football is back. You might not be at the game this year, but you can still be in on the action at Bet Online. I'll tell you what, it's been an interesting year of football so far. This week, my pick is going to be the Bengals getting nine points against the Colts. So from game spreads and totals to team, player, and coaching props, Bet Online gives you more options to wager than any place online. And there is always the online casino as well. It never closes. So head to betonline.ag today and take advantage of all the great sign-up bonuses. Again, that's betonline.ag and sign up today. Bet Online, your online sportsbook experts. Heavy. Yeah. It was heavy. Yeah. Moonlight, Moonlight was a great performance. Um, it comes at night. I didn't really get it. Mm-hmm. I have to, I'll have to watch that again. And, and the, I mean, The Witch was was what got me into A24. Yeah. So that really jumped my ship when I was like, I really like this and not a lot of other people like this. And why do I like this so fucking much Right. when other people really just don't? And I mean, I think that's the best thing about A24, too, is they're allowed to take chances. You know, they're letting the directors kind of do whatever. Like, I'm sure there are director's cuts out there. I think for uh, Midsummer, there's actually like a four-hour director's cut that's supposedly going to come out. I need to see But that. they're very, you know, just kind of like, this is a great script. Here you go. Go make a movie. And then fantastic. I mean, granted, they have also brought movies in and released under their own um, you know, label or whatnot, but that's just kind of my take on A24. Yeah. So, Jordan, what do you got? Well, Jordan, daughter Jordan. <laughs> um, yeah, Hereditary is my first favorite. My second favorite is Waves, which a lot of people haven't haven't I'm, seen. I've not seen Waves. It's really good. Um, Sterling K. Brown is, like, one of the top performances. Nice. From, he plays, like, the dad. It's a really heavy, it's also a heavy story, but it's also, like, lighthearted at times. Mm-hmm. Um yeah, it's about like a kid who wrestles, and then he tears something in his shoulder. But his dad is a pusher, and he's a pusher for himself because of it. So they just keep going, and he kind of hits a breaking point. And okay. Then the tone of the movie completely shifts at this one scene. And I also think it has one of the best soundtracks. It has like Frank Ocean, nice Tame Impala, Tyler the Creator, Kanye, Kid Cudi. Did you make a soundtrack? <laughs> I, I, it it has, sounds like all your favorites. It has Kendrick. <laughs> yeah. 
SZA, um, Damn, Alabama it? Shakes. Oh wow! It's Damn. the the soundtrack's pre- incredible. Um, my third favorite is Midsommar. I've watched that almost as many times as Hereditary, mm-hmm. but it is very um, disturbing. But I like it. Yeah. Florence Pugh is like it probably like top three performances. A twenty four is like Tony Collette Hereditary, mm-hmm. Florence Pugh Midsommar, and then um, Sterling K Brown Waves. Nice, nice. And then Moonlight. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's number four for me. I love everything about that movie. Yeah. And then um, Eighth Grade. Did I watch that one? Yeah. It's yeah. really funny. Okay. Really good. Good. It's like very accurate to like what what it was like for me and eighth, not I didn't relate to the character very much, but mm-hmm. like it made so much sense to me. Like everything she felt. Okay. Yeah, that's that's the one. Th- that's the Bo the, Burnham directed it. Oh. The singing guy? The comedian, like, yeah. yeah. Bill Burr? Bo Bill, Burnham. Bill Burnham. Oh, oh okay. Bo Burnham. Okay. He was That's the guy wild. in Parks okay. and Rec like, that sang the country music. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. Okay. Chip, I didn't Chip know McCaffrey that. or whatever. Yeah, it's very, I'll very check good. check that out. I mean, I don't really care for him as a comedian, but, like, mm. yeah. I'll, no, I'll the movie's that good. Now. Okay. Very good. I've heard a lot about it. Eighth, this is eighth grade mm-hmm. we're talking about. So one, the the biggest thing, well, not to cut you off. No, 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 you're good. Okay, I didn't the, even start the, yet. The, big, <laughs> the biggest thing that A24 does for me that Norton like blockbuster movies don't do sure. for me is the humanity aspect, the mm-hmm. human aspect, the relatability aspect mm-hmm. of yeah. these movies is so like so fucking true, like d- d- even to a fault true. Yeah, like the witch is one of the most realistic. Just watching it, I, yeah, like, it's folklore. Like, horror. I, I, I don't, I don't feel like I'm watching a movie. I feel like I'm looking at people yeah. living their fucking lives. I right. think a lot of people didn't like it because it is slow, but it's yeah. like it's more realistic. Like if something supernaturally horrifying was happening, yeah, yeah. It especially would, that would during happen. those times, yeah, it's yeah, picture perfect. Like the yeah. accents, every, like everything yeah. about yeah. it. Loved it, love that, love fucking moonlight, mm. and how like the 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 the, the dialogue between people isn't how it is in movies like they say the right thing at the right time it's like (laughs) they say shit that people would fucking like Mm -hmm. say in real life you know what i mean yeah like they don't have the perfect words right it's just like they were reacting to like uh, yeah no i think the acting and the collaborations are what make a24 films like you know of course we all love the marvel films and action and this and the other but when you want to see a really accurate portrayal or just kind of like a true life story or even a scary movie I, i think you hit that right on the head is it's very, very accurate. It's not that cheesy, campy, like, all right, he said this line. Now he's, or she's going to come back yeah, with this one liner. Right. It's, right. Right. <laughs> no bullshit one liners. No <laughs> right. No, it, exactly. It's the, no cliches, cliches, it's the furthest, thing from, yeah, the furthest thing from a cliche. It's the farthest from a cliche. And, agree. Uh, especially with Midsommar, they have a cliche character. Mm-hmm. That, right. That you can point out and you're like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they made fun and of they're, they're, And they're out of, out of place in these movies. Of course. Just of like course, that, like the kid from Maze Runner. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. yeah, no, agreed. And uh, you know, one of the ones that I just kind of want to do honorable mention on, I, and I know Jordan did not like this, but it was accurate as far as the like the time frame was mid '90s. You know, I, I thought it. it was a, a good movie done by um, Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill. So oh, you know, okay. Jonah Hill's de- directorial debut about a bunch of skateboard kids in the '90s. You know, I, I know your your only problem with it was that they said the f bomb a lot. And, you know, unfortunately, during the 90s, it was said a ton. Oh, Jesus Christ. A ton. You know? it, it, it was. And, it, you know, it's unfortunate, but it was accurate during that time frame. And I know that, you know, one of the conversations we had, well, I don't understand why they had to say it that much. He was being accurate to the time frame, you know, unfortunately. So I'm not, you know, so that, that's all I'll say about that. But besides that, a couple ones that a lot of people, like, I didn't realize were A24 at the time. Uh, the first one they did, they were founded in 2012. The first movie they came out with was A Glimpse Inside the Mind of Charles Sun III. And then shortly after that, they came out with probably one of his not best performances was um, James Franco in Spring Breakers. <laughs> so, I never saw that. Yeah, it, it's not memorable. He had dreads and he was a drug dealer and I all that stuff. Off, it, it did. And then uh, on top of that, another movie that we watched together was The Bling Ring. Uh, true story that has Hermione in it. Ago. That was a, yeah, like I said, this is when they first came out. Bling Bling was pretty good. Yeah, it was a decent movie based on actual kids that were sitting around Hollywood that were robbing celebrities' homes and they didn't get away with it. The Witch, you hit on that one. That one is is truly a folklore horror movie. Like if you're sitting there reading 
an old folk tale that's horror like he could not have done a better job of making that into film without making it cheesy without making it campy like actually making it true to the time and then i will say again spoilers ahead i think the creepiest thing is when philip black philip black philip starts talking i was sitting there and i was like and they don't oh make my it, god! Exactly. They don't make it cheesy like his no, starts no, moving. right, He's like, right. It just shows and, and then have it a shows connection. Yep. hand touch her shoulder. Like yep. that's perfect. Exactly. Like, subtlety. The subtlety. Subtlety is much more scary than a fucking jump scare. Uh, exactly. I'll die on this hill, guys. And I think it. that's why you know a twenty four gets hated on is because it's not that. <gasps> it's not Blumhouse. Right. 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 Exactly. Nothing. I mean, Blumhouse does make some good films. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, it a twenty four leaves a little bit more to the imagination. I'm just not for Blum. I'm just not Blum. <laughs> I did love the Halloween remake. I did. Oh, the Halloween oh, okay. remake well, was that's, pretty good. That's fair. <laughs> All right, that's we'll fair. get into that in another episode. Uh, Green Room was one that I just finally recently watched. Um, we, we'd be remiss if we didn't mention Room. Yeah, with yeah, Larson. Room with yeah, and that, she won an Academy won, Award yes. for that. Uh-huh. Hereditary, and then of course uh, Midsummer, and then this will kind of like, go on to performances here. So as far as like my favorite performances ever, even though I agree with you 100% on The Lighthouse, beautifully shot, don't really know what was going on. Yeah, I don't, I Willem Dafoe, though, especially his monologue. Where oh, it's my like, God. Uh, was just, where he's where being buried? Him. No, no, no. It's where he's like yelling at Robert Pattinson's character uh, and telling the story about like the ocean. And I mean, it was like a four it. minute like, and when, he, when he stands monologue. up and he's like, hark. Yes. And it's just, even though it's in black and white, like people don't realize you can still shoot black and white shitty. Like, this was shot very well in like black a, and like white. It was like a 14mm film. Yeah, and it was just the, the, the scariness about it. And, of course, you have Willem yeah. Dafoe. And, I mean, this was a straight, like, there's no cuts in it. It was about a four- to five-minute monologue. And that, to me, like, took my breath away. That's and just, it was that a great performance. That goes back to, like, the humanistic. Yes. Like, yeah. that's the best mm-hmm. way to describe H24. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is, it's sort of like, you know, we're so used to movies that are, like, just trying to get like a certain goal across or like an right. achievement or whatever or some super net like superhero stuff where it's like I don't know like entertainment stuff that we're not used to like movies that are so easily relatable and I right. think it makes yes. a lot of people uncomfortable like right. I don't I don't or, really or like ones that. that make you just think yeah yeah you know at people the end of the day think. right people right. don't think at all <laughs> um, Florence Pugh of course uh, and, and I was it Midsummer Midsummer Midsummer, Midsummer. Midsummer. okay. You know, you know, I always mess up words here. Uh, Sonny, I'm going to mess this kids up, but Sonny Sol- Soljic, he's he's the little kid in mid '90s. I thought his performance, and I think you agree with me on that. His like his kind of coming of age thing, you know, as far as getting to know these guys with and, with the skateboarding group. Like I said, I, I do think it's a good movie. Um, and then, of course, rest in peace to Alton. I always forget how to say his last name. But, Yelton. Uh, Yelton, um, who died Anton, way too soon. Anton Yelton. Anton, Anton Yelton in Green Room. Again, if you have not seen Green Room, him and Patrick Stewart have Sir. amazing. Sir. Sir Patrick, Patrick Stewart. Shit have amazing bitch. performances. <laughs> 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 I've always wanted to be knighted. Damn it, I want to be knighted. Be I don't dope. care if I'm not British. But Green Room is, you know, it's not a, like a classic or anything, but it's just a good flick about neo-nazis it's and a band that's playing a wrong show at the wrong time and they're gritty, trying bro. to get out it's gritty, it's, gritty it's, it's it's probably honestly to me besides midsummer and hereditary one of the more gorier ones oh yeah yeah, yeah. They've, they've got some points it. they got some so, points in it it's man. good it was on netflix i don't know if it still is but check it out and then uh, last but not least i did not enjoy the movie that much but i really enjoyed his performance um adam sandler and uncut gems I thought the movie was okay. I still need to see it. Um, I think his performance is fantastic. He plays a great kind of deadbeat dad, um, jewelry dealer slash degenerate gambler. Um, again, I wasn't a huge fan of the movie. I didn't really see the hype around it, but I thought Adam Sandler's performance was top notch. I think it, I think the hype around it was Adam Sandler, Sandler's right. performance and how out of character. Yeah, it's not his like a type cast. Right. was right. Yeah. So yeah, like the Huey Halloween one. It's just that's him Adam as, Sandler. It's him that as the water boy. Adam yeah, he's doing he's, he's doing water, water boy during Halloween. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was uh, like I, a I, movie I, 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 where he doesn't say shut up. Like it's like oh that's interesting. <laughs> shut up. And so he points at the camera and then makes fart noises. So so one of one of the ones I forgot to mention was Ex Machina. Oh and nice. I haven't dude, seen that yet. Oh okay. Well, I'm not gonna spoil spoil anything to you. I'm just gonna tell you that. So that was in 2014. Mm-hmm. The, the, the performances were great. 
It was great throughout. And then the ending, I wanted to physically throw up and kill myself. Like, Ooh. I mean, it was like, <laughs> like... Don't do that out there, by was, the way. No, no. It was just like, it was soul... Cr- it was, it was, oh my God. And this is, this is the human dilemma. Like, it was, it was great in one aspect. Fucking phenomenal. Yeah. Because who can argue... Well, you out there no one and this it sucks being a spoiler friendly right. thing right. but when one of us has and I do not want to spoil the ending for you okay but yeah. it is on one aspect beautiful the ending beautiful for one person and then at the and then you look at the other because she it does something <laughs> fuck <laughs> deserves it deserves it <laughs> but then the, the the way that it happens I would say you can't write it, but God damn it, these motherfuckers did. And <laughs> yes. you feel that shit, and you feel both sides, and you're yeah. like, yes, but fuck! But fuck. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh my God. And another so amazing good. performance by Oscar Isaac, too. Oh, I dude. Mean, I, I think he's oh. incredibly underrated for his talent. He is, man. He really Annihilation is. needs to be yeah. like a He's going to be in the new Dune as well. But of course, he's that. done the Star Wars shit. But I mean, all his performances, man. The guy really yeah, hasn't good, done a bad he's one. He's good, dude. I like him a lot. But yeah, f- check that shit out. Oh. Swiss Army Man I didn't watch. Um, oh. The Lobster I did watch. You guys watch The Lobster? No. So I told you I never got to finish it because I was watching on a plane and I felt like if I continued the people around me thought I would have been really weird because it got to yeah. some weird scenes in yeah, there. Yeah, it does. It does. <laughs> so it's... You, you, no human on earth can tell from the midpoint where this movie is going to end. Right. And if you tell me, oh, you totally saw that coming, I will punch you as hard as I can in your sternum. <laughs> like, I don't give a shit. Like... There's, I promise you, from watching the beginning and hearing like how things are happening, mm-hmm. when the midpoint happens and there's kind of a shift in character liability and whatnot, by the time the movie ends, all that's just shoveled out the window. And okay. It's great the way they do it. But the one bad thing I will say about the movie is that, and they did this on purpose, is that all dialogue is monotone completely monotone okay and it's a lot it's a lot of words said in just like oh yeah well i was going to talk to you before she jumped out of the window and killed herself but you know now there's a lot of screaming so we could probably do this later and the girl's like yeah okay sure mm. but they do it on purpose on purpose gotcha okay. for sure for sure but yeah definitely check out the lobster it's great okay nice jordan what do you got for favorite performances um, I already Little mentioned Jordan. them earlier. <laughs> um, my favorite's Tony Collette. Yeah, sure. Red Terry. Yeah, should be. Um, just be like watch. If you're not gonna watch the movie, at least look up um hereditary dinner table scene. Um, and the watch scripted that. version. You can see the script. Yeah, they yeah they have the scripted version on YouTube where she's yelling at her son at the. I love that, by the way. Whoever came up with the whole like showing the actual showing it's the script, it's called script to screen. Yeah, it's script like a YouTube screen. channel. Love mm-hmm. that. What's left out and yeah. like the the stage notes, and you can oh, see so like dope. who kind of ad libs too. Yeah. I, I, I'm always, I've always. This is why I still get Blu-rays and DVDs. I love the behind the scenes shit. Mm-hmm. I do. I mm-hmm. love it to death. But I love the way they show that. Yeah. Sorry. That's so um, my second favorite is Florence Pugh in Midsommar. Um. Especially because she's, she did like maybe two, two or three movies before that, and they weren't big. It was like Lady Macbeth. And then what? Fighting um, with the fighting with the I family come out was, before or after? Because I think we saw that before, and then Midsummer after exactly. And that like shows her range, like fighting with the family versus her character in Midsummer. Right, completely different. I didn't even know it was the same person until after um, the movie. But yeah, her, like her, how she portrays her emotions in that movie. Mm. It's like, it's really, like, you can feel it. You could feel yes. what she was feeling. Oh, yeah. Every panic attack she had. And it was trippy as hell, too, on top of that. That was the only thing, it's like, on. when we watched it, we were completely sober. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't mind and having I was some like, edibles. Those, or... I was like, are those trees? They're, they're <laughs> yeah. And, the, and you know, she had the plants faces, on her head. And there's faces and yeah. trees. Yeah. 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 There, was, there was a lot in there to mm. where it's kind of like a modern day... Clockwork Orange or something. Yeah, you're just to win. yeah. Actually, I like that. I That's really so what goes around comes around. Thank you. Like that. No, no, I, I I loved it for sure. And then of course she ended up doing. Uh, she was in Little Women, which we watched oh, yeah. and you loved. Right. And then, and we're at though, minutes. Yeah, and then uh, I am looking forward to seeing her as Black Widow's sister yes. in Black yes. Widow whenever that does come out. 
So if it ever does. If it ever does. So that is going to... Anything else? Last, anything words? Else? Uh, Last words? Any shout outs? Any shout outs to UNC Dub? No. <laughs> I will say one thing. Fucking uh, the new Batman, go watch Good Times and you'll see that he's a good fucking actor, to, bro. I was about go. to say, I have like a few honorable mentions. Go ahead. And it's Lady Bird, Good Time, and Swiss Army. I'm Man. surprised Lady Bird wasn't one of Dude, your favorites. Good. It's Sir Sir Ronan's performance is mm. one of my favorite performances. Okay. And it's still like as good, it's just not in my top five. I gotcha. Right? Right. They're just all so good. They're all so good. It's hard to choose. Lady no. Bird's a really good like comedy, like family thing. Lady Bird like, was up for a lot of It was up for a shit ton of awards. Like it was really re- it was the most relatable movie for me. Mm-hmm. It like she me and her have me and the main character had parallel like characteristics and like mm-hmm. wants. And it, it reminded me a lot of me and mom's relationship, like how it is, like living with your mom for most of the time, like and then, like how that creates tension, but sure. good moments, bad moments. But it was like really good, and it's good to like watch with your mom if you have a mom like that. Yeah, because it's like, oh, there, we just saw us on t- on the yeah. screen, and it was cool. Yeah. Like, nice. And then, um, yeah, good time is really good. It is good. It's there's there's it's it's funny. It, and twenty four minutes happened about fifteen seconds ago, which is great. But <laughs> but good time. I the, I I watched good time. Thinking from the name, it's gonna be something, uh, and I should have known. All right, it's a twenty-four though. That it's gonna be something <laughs> completely different, and there's not one good time in that movie. No, there's the, not. There's not a single really not. good moment at all. I have to watch it. And that's mm-hmm. currently on. It's Netflix, on Netflix, right? Netflix. Yeah. yeah, Robert Pat. Yeah, yeah, if you want Robert to see Pat. that, he's better than just Edward and Twilight. Dude, yeah, yeah look movie. past Edward yeah. and fucking the Twilight. Batman he hated trailer, that movie. Though. He actually hated of doing course. the Twilight movies. There's plenty of, of interviews where great, he's like, he's a great, he's a great, he's a great actor. actor. Yeah, he's a great actor. Exactly. Lighthouse, fucking phenomenal. Good time. Yeah. Fucking yeah. phenomenal. I heard he was great in Tenet. Oh, um, the new movie Tenet. No, no, there's a new one. I just watched. Oh, the one on Netflix, the Devil. Devil all the time. Devil all the oh, time. Oh, that yeah. is a great performance by Tom Holland, Boom. Robert Pattinson. Everybody in that movie is there incredible. You go. The Batman. I'd hate to be, you know, I'd hate to be excited about a DC movie, but it looks. I'm okay with good. anyone else trying to be the Batman. Yeah, that is going to be even. The, Minnie Jordan was excited about the trailer. I don't like Batman. Like no. as a per, as a hero, I'm like no. whatever. Yeah, you're rich. Got it. Cool. Sweet. <laughs> but I was like. Okay. You voted for Trump. I, no, yeah. <laughs> you can edit that out. If you want. Oh, no, I'm leaving that in there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure people know who we're like. That's a whole other discussion for a whole other time. Anyway, but yeah, we got to wrap this up. We uh, we got to go to work. Jordan's got to go to work. I got to do trivia. Uh, big thank you to my daughter, my good friend Jordan. Make sure you check us out all over the place, social media, our website, popculturepodcast.com, courtesy of our good friends over at Zibster. That is Z-I-B-S-T-E-R. As always, Andrew Newman, attorney at law, taking care of all your criminal, civil, and traffic court needs all over the state of North Carolina, not just Guilford County. Make sure you check out his website, attorneynewman.com. And of course, the Believe Podcast Network. We are so proud to be a part of them. That is Believe, B-L-E-A-V dot com. The number one podcast network for professionals. And of course, uh, betonline.ag. We'll see you on the next one. October, spooky shit coming your way. Fuck yeah. Later. Yeah. Victory. And anger management? Fuck anger management. Thank you for listening to Believe. You can show support to your host by subscribing to the show and giving us a five-star rating on your preferred platform. Check us out at Believe.com and search for B-L-E-A-V on YouTube. Hey, it's Michelle Beadle. That's right, the Michelle Beadle. You're welcome. You love talking about sports. I love talking about sports. You know the only thing cooler than talking about sports? Sports! And right now, all your favorite sports are on Sirius XM. I'm talking every NFL game, every game from the NBA, NHL, MLB, every NASCAR race, golf major, major conference college sports, and all the top games in the WNBA. If it gets your heart pumping, it's on Sirius XM. So start your free, free, free trial of Sirius XM today. Visit SiriusXM.com slash believe.